Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next uh, debugging of Visual Studio tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about four new things. So the first thing I want to talk about, uh, well let's execute this uh, program right now. Okay so what I did is that I said uh, the player can attack and then it returns the enemy's death cry or whatever. Okay, so let me run this. As we can see, this text is really long, um, yada yada yada, and it's not long enough because we can see the whole text like blur or whatever it is. Anyways, sometimes you have a text that's really long. Maybe if you uh, you have an error or yada yada or an exception or something that is like really 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 long, and you can't see the whole thing or just looking at the whole thing is really uh, just too long. Uh, to see so as you will uh, if we scroll down here or if we hover over here what we can see on strings we can see a magnifying glass and if we click on that magnifying glass or we click on the drop down box we can choose any one we want but usually you want the text visualizer just click the magnifying uh, glass and you will be able to see the whole text and if you want to disable wrap you can see like that but you can uh, see the whole text like um, I remember when um, like for example if I was getting like a JSON file um, from like a web request or something and I wanted to see if the, if the JSON file was correct if the details I was getting was correct reading it from this uh, from just hovering over it or just looking at the text down here it wasn't possible well clicking the magnifying glass was made me able to actually review it um, see it and yada yada and see if the text was correct so that's one feature that can help you out if you're working uh, with strings and such so another thing that I forgot to mention when we were working with uh, breakpoints earlier is for example let's uh, let's put our, let's put our breakpoint right there and let's step in and let's say that we figured out what we want to figure out right we can also step out so what we're going to do is we're going to go to debug and as you can see shift f11 is step out and we can step right out of it so if we're done instead of having to click like f10 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 or f11 to get through the whole uh method we can just click shift f11 or just um uh, go to our debug menu and click step out and we'll we can continue where we left out so we can check for what we want step out and then continue executing our uh pro now you don't know how many times I have wanted whenever like say a method or something returns returns a value and it doesn't store it in a variable you don't know how many times I've wanted to see that value right and when a method returns a value or something and it's not stored in a variable how do you see that how do you see the value that it returns well let's thank the autos uh, toolbar down here uh, the autos tab so if we continue executing this program um, we can see uh, that when we go here we can say YouTube debugger player dot attack returned and you can see the value returned so for example like you don't know what it returns and you really need to know what it returns if it's vital then you can always look in the autos to see exactly what it returns all the values it returns yada 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 to make your life a lot easier instead of uh, I remember whenever I, that problem used to arise um, in any of my programs I used to say okay I used to store it in a string right before the error and I used to say okay uh, test and I say player player dot attack and then damage then I used to set a breakpoint right um, here and then I used to get the value like that but with the autos tab at the bottom, we don't have to create dummy variables just to see uh, a d uh, what the value returns. We can see it right there in the autos tab, which makes our life a little bit easier. Now, another feature, the last feature I'm going to be showing you uh, today, um, or I guess, uh, yeah, well, the last feature I'm going to be showing you is uh, the references. So if we um, if we go over our method and we right click and we can say find all references this references menu right here will show you where everything is called 
right so where this method is called and you can double click and it will bring you to where this method is clear so, so it, sorry so this is a reference to the actual creation of the method um, well, we can see um, where it's called here we can see where it's called here so we can see like all the references to it now if we just want to see where it actually is called sorry then we say view call hierarchy so find all references is where it's named where all the named references are and view call hierarchy uh, if we look at this right here it shows us if we drop this down it shows us where we make calls to set damage and we can check the calls from set damage. So if, uh, if set damage calls a method or something, we can see what this method calls. But the most important one that I usually use on a daily basis is the calls to this method. So we can see what actually calls this and we can double click and go to where it calls it so we can see all the references uh, to that method. And as you can see the quick keyboard shortcut uh, for that. So just click it, we say we hold control, we hold control, click K, keep holding control, then we say T, and I messed up because I did something, I put something there by accident, uh, named it wrong, uh, so let's resume, so we say uh, control K, and then click T, as you can see, we can see all our references there, we can see the calls to it, and let's say you add another method, and you want to see the call to that, we just say refresh, and it will refresh it, and yada 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 so you can see that to easily see uh, where everything is actually being called so that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this don't forget to comment and subscribe and uh, bye for now